Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my review of the Nike Adapt Auto Max. So this shoe is going for freaking $400 and plus tax, it was like 440 bucks for me. And this colorway is still available. If you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But what makes this shoe so special is it uses that automatic lacing system that Nike's been using, you know, in like their Adapt BB 2.0. And there is a good amount of tech involved in this shoe. Uh, so let's get to start off with the outsole. The outsole kind of reminds me of the Air Max with this like oval shape here in the forefoot. It's not exactly the same, but it reminds me of the Air Max just a little bit. And they're using squares. <laughs> so basically they're just squares throughout the entire outsole. And uh, there is a little bit of a texture on the rubber. And then there's a yellow swoosh in the middle and it's cored out a little bit here in the heel, which will probably help compress the cushioning a little bit in the heel, but there is an Air Max unit. So there's really no point in that, right? But you know, it, it seems durable. The rubber is actually really hard and the grooves are deep. Durability seems good. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be like an ultra boost or anything where you're gonna just run through this outsole. All right, so uh, there's really no information on what the cushioning is, like this foam, but like if you press it with your your finger it's kind of soft uh, it's not as soft as react or cushion or anything but it feels a little bit softer than Phylon. And of course, it's heavily, heavily caged here in the midfoot and also in the heel area. And of course, in the heel, you have an air bubble and basically an Air Max unit. And of course, you can see the pillars through this unit, which is cool. And it's not bad, you know? Uh, you're super freaking high up off the ground. It reminds me of the Air Max 720 where you're like three inches taller. So if you're going out, you'll be like two to three inches taller. You wanna impress ladies, you know? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but if you wanna be taller, when you're going out then this is a shoe to wear is this cushion comfortable i mean kind of uh as far as the step and comfort goes I, I it's pretty nice you know the insole that they're using has a nice little compression to it it's not super thick but it feels a little bit thicker than your traditional orthlite insole that nike usually uses in their shoes but then if you look underneath the insole it's like a it has a really stiff stroll board and also like in the midfoot you can see that uh, that's where they put all the like gears and all the hardware for the fit adapt system or the automatic lacing system so i mean the insole gives you a little bit of step in comfort but you don't really get anything from like this foam or the air max unit that much uh, it, it feels more just like like that springboard you know like i always say it's like this is your foot and the uh, basically your foot is on top of a board and that board is pretty stiff i guess like, like you can put the insole in there for a little bit of step and comfort but then like there is a good amount of compression from the like the air max unit and i guess like this foam but then it's mostly just underneath like this springboard you're not gonna feel like your heel digging into something comfortable you know like for example like in boost or react you can feel most of the time uh, your heel or your forefoot digging to a nice soft cushion. Uh, it doesn't feel like that at all in the shoe. You just feel a good amount of compression from, like, I guess, like this overall cushioning setup, which is super freaking thick. And also another thing I don't like what they did, and I don't understand why they did this, is you see how much it, it like protrudes out here in the heel. You see this like rubber part and I guess like this heel counter. I guess it looks a little bit more futuristic, but it just adds so much weight and we'll get into weight in a second. But <laughs> like, I don't know why they did this. And it's a little ridiculous, you know? Uh, so the cushioning is okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it's like the most comfortable cushioning I've ever felt, but it's not bad. All right, as far as the materials go, they're using, it reminds me of like a tights, you know? Like if you wear tights, this material kind of feels like that. As far as the texture goes, there is a good amount of stretch to it as well. It doesn't feel as supportive as I would like, you know, when I'm wearing it and I, I put my toes up, I, it comes up a lot. You know, it kind of reminds me of like NMDs or something like that. And of course, you do have this, pla it's basically plastic, it's not even fused. It's, it's, it's a plastic toe guard here for extra added durability. The tongue is uh, pretty nicely padded, so that feels nice. And you have some Achilles pillows as well, which helps secure your foot into the shoe and it feels really nice where your Achilles is. So I guess the material is not bad. Uh, for $400 though, and of course, they're going for more like a futuristic look and I feel like this shoe took a lot of inspiration from the Nike Air Max because the material looks very similar to the material that's used in the Air Max right and of course this lacing 
or I guess these they, these aren't laces. They're basically just elastic bands. You have four elastic bands. I guess to I don't they don't really do anything. Yeah, they kind of help secure the tongue so that like you have a better fit. Like it kind of stretches over your foot a little bit, which uh, which feels nice, but you know kind of really doesn't do anything. So materials feel nice. They're very soft. It's very stretchy. And uh, Donny Boy doesn't like materials like this. You know, like a super soft, unsupportive material. Uh, for me, it was okay. You know, I, I don't really mind it as much, but I'm sure there are people that are not gonna like this material. And also, if you've ever tried like Ultra Boost or like NMDs where it's just like super soft and you put your toes up, you can it just stretches like crazy, then you're probably not gonna like the materials on this shoe. And as far as the fit goes, I went true to size and it fits me perfectly. My toe goes literally right to the edge here. Width-wise, it's perfect for me. It felt pretty snug, so it's slightly narrow. And then here in the toe box, it's pretty snug as well. So it, I, I really like the fit. And also the shoe is really easy to put on. You know, the tongue opens up a lot. And then uh, there, it, it's not really a heel tab, but the material does come up a lot. So if you have a wide foot, probably go up half a size. If you have a narrow or I guess like a normal foot, you should probably go true to size and you'll be fine. Uh, just, just watch out if you do go true to size, it is a snug fit. And of course, we can't talk about fit without talking about the Fit Adapt system. So it's literally the same exact system as the Adapt BB 2.0 and like all the other shoes that have the Fit Adapt system in them. So um, of course, you can connect the shoe to Siri or your phone. So if you download the app, it's literally called Adapt and then it connects to your shoes and then you can calibrate it. So for example, on the bottom left, it says, you know, move and then chill. Like I don't know why you would ever want to like move around in them as far as like running around I guess because why you know you can add modes to like how tight of a fit you want the shoe which is really cool so of course I have chill mode which is five or ten or whatever and then move you can put it to like a little bit tighter than that so I guess move is more just like jogging or running around and you can add modes uh, like whatever mode you want and then the button on the right of that you, know, you can either press it once to change the color as you guys can see here uh, as I'm doing or you can hold it and you can see a variety of colors uh, that you want to make the shoe there was a firmware update where you could you know do like strobe effects strobe light effects I tried updating it and it would not update and then the next button after that you can check your battery level which is really cool and then after that this this button is literally to release the shoe so if you press it it releases the shoe of course and then you can just take the shoe off if you want and then the L and R obviously the L is for the left foot if you tighten it it times the shoe and on the right it does the same thing you can slide it forward and backward so that's just the app it's pretty cool but the app is something you wouldn't really use daily like if you're wearing this like every day and like tightening the shoe and all that the app is basically just for configuring how tight you want the the shoe like you can set your modes and also you can change the colors and that's pretty much it you're not really gonna go into your app and then like tighten and uh, loosen the shoe because you have buttons here and that's how you tighten and loosen the shoes you know so there's the app and also the app kind of connects to siri so if you say like hey siri tighten my shoes just a sec There, cool, yeah, so it tightened my shoes. I believe it does it, it times the shoes in like five to 10 increments. You can say, uh, A, tighten it to this setting or this mode, which, you know, it'll tighten to that. And of course, if you wanna loosen it, you can do that as well. But I think it'd be a little bit more useful if you have the Apple Watch, you know, cause to do that, you kinda have to like take your phone out and say it. Uh, I would rather just press the button to <laughs> to loosen the shoe but anyways also uh, there is a sensor inside the shoe so like if you put on the shoe it recognizes your foot's in the shoe and then the shoe will time to your desired tightness which of course every single shoe has been able to do that so that's really cool and then of course you can tighten like that and let's say you tighten the shoe to a certain extent right and you want to take it off all you got to do is press the loosen button you press it for like two seconds and it just automatically and it just automatically loosens everything. And all the shoes that have the Fit Adapt system, I believe they, there were cables like on the outside, right? And then you can see the actual cables like tighten on your shoe, which was really cool. This is very different. So there are cables running through the shoe, but then the cable is connected to like this plastic eyelid. And that plastic eyelid is connected to the tongue. And the tongue is basically a uh, it's not really independent. It's more just like a half booty tongue, which is interesting. The cables tighten the tongue like traditional laces. It doesn't tighten like here. 
where the material is, it just tightens the tongue and the tongue kind of like goes like this a little bit and uh, that's how it works. But like there's really no point in the fit adapt system because I never really even use it. Like I can use this shoe on the loosest setting and I'd be fine because this material is just so stretchy. It feels like an Ultra Boost and the Epic or an Epic React, right? It's, it's just a nice stretchy material that you can easily put on and you're good to go. There's, there's really no point. And I don't, it's not a running shoe. It's not like you're gonna be running or training in them. You're probably just gonna go out, just wear it to go out or something. And also some of the things that come with the shoe are, of course, you got a little bricky brick, and then a cable. It's USB-C, so you connect this to the Qi wireless charger. And whenever the shoe is low battery, you just place it on the Qi wireless pad and it wirelessly charges the shoe. And it came with like this little plastic thing. It's supposed to be, well it says it's their mascot. Like this shoe's mascot, so there you go. <laughs> Alright, as far as the ventilation goes, uh, ventilation is pretty good. There's a good amount of airflow through this material. Like if you blow through it, you can definitely feel like all that breeze. So ventilation is good. It's super hot right now, but my feet weren't very, very hot when I was wearing them outside. And as far as aesthetics go, this shoe looks awesome. I love how it looks. It looks futuristic. Uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. Of course, last but not least, let's check the overall weight of it. What do you guys think? <laughs> it feels pretty damn heavy. I'm guessing like 15, 16 ounces, right? Oh my God, 17.21 ounces. Uh, this is 16.86, holy crap, 0.4 ounce difference between the left and right pair. That's a good amount, but anyways, yeah, so this shoe is not light at all. I don't know what they're trying to do with the Fit Adapt. I mean, of course, as the technology progresses, it'll get better and better. And I can't wait till the day where the shoe actually tightens as fast as in the movies. But of course, we're not there yet. If they can make the shoes lighter, that'd be awesome as well. Like, I feel like they can't. Like they, they could probably could shed like three to four ounces off of this freaking shoe. Like, you know, all this with this rubber and like this heel counter and they just made it so chunky with the rubber and like this midsole. The upper and all that is super minimal though. But then it's just very, very bottom heavy. And it feels kind of weird walking around it. And then here on the tongue, it says Auto Max. You know, uh, believe it or not, that says Auto. <laughs> I didn't really know what it said because the font is so weird, but that says Auto Max. Uh, you have two swooshes here on the lateral side. You have a swoosh here in the middle and then a swoosh here on, I guess, like this heel counter. And then it says air in the back. And also another cool thing is there is a pull tab and this pull tab does have 3M. So um, I guess if you're walking around the night, that, it, that is pretty safe. My overall thoughts on this shoe, it's dope. It's really something you can show off to your friends. A lot of people are like, yo, what are those? You know, when you put it on and then you tighten it, it goes ee and then people are like yo that's sick you know it's it's definitely like a conversation starter but is it worth four hundred dollars i don't think so it, like the fit adapt system it doesn't really do anything better than just laces like laces still just tighten on your feet other than it being automatic but like it's not that much faster you know what i'm saying and then not only that the epic reacts or ultra boots you can just slide on and of course you can just slide on this shoe as well and like I said, I don't really use the Fit Adapt system because it's such a great fit for me anyway. So uh, so yeah, I have very mixed feelings about the shoe. I, I really like the overall aesthetic and I do like the Fit Adapt system because it is automatic, but I feel like it's not up to the part of like it being very, very useful. It's not there yet. I'm, I'm looking forward to the technology. I'm very glad the technology exists. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on this shoe. <laughs> Again, if you guys want to cop this $400 shoe, actually $440 with tax, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.